And the very first thing I'm going to do for each track is clean my audio. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be applying noise reduction to that audio. What noise reduction does is if you highlight a certain area that is supposed to be silent. Now I'm only going to do this one track at a time because these were all recorded separately. You highlight an area that is supposed to be silent and you get a noise profile for that area. Then you can apply it to the whole track and it will sort of suck out that background noise. So I've already highlighted what is supposed to be silence for this track. I'm going to go to effect noise reduction. And you'll notice that there are two steps here. The first one is to get that noise profile. I'll click get noise profile and it gets the noise profile of that. The second step is to highlight the entire track. Oops, not, not all of the tracks, but this entire track up here. Then go to effect noise reduction. We, these default settings are generally fine. We're going to click reduce and then OK. And you can barely see it, but it actually sucks out some of this waveform. And what that does is it is it is looking at all of the frequencies, all of the noise and what is silence, and it's taking it away from the waveform as well. So we're going to do that for the next few tracks as well. Again, highlight an area that you think is supposed to be silent. Effect noise reduction, get noise profile, then highlight the entirety oops, of that track. And now you're going to apply that noise reduction profile by going back to effect noise reduction and under step two, reduce. Okay. Down here, I recorded this so low, it's a little bit uh, hard to see what the actual silence is, but it starts around here. I'm going to go there, effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. I light it all, effect, noise reduction, and reduce. Okay. So now we have cleaned out as much as possible, uh, as much as we can automatically do the background noise in these audio tracks. 